Your business website is your own piece of digital real estate. And like any piece of real estate, there's always a little project or two that you can do to make it better. So let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. It's your website home improvement tip from Super Web Pros. Today's Super Web Pros website home improvement tip is to use good password practices. So your security is only as good as the password that you use. If an attacker has access to your, uh, to your password, he has access to your site. So it's important to use good practices when you're dealing with passwords. Most human beings, like it or not, tend to reuse the same password for everything. Don't do it. R regardless of what you do, do not use the same password for everything. I know you wanna make sure it's easy to remember. However, if you do that, the, you're, you're opening your whole system, your whole uh, digital life open to attack. If somebody figures out one site, they have it for everything. So make sure that you're using more than one password. Uh, have several on hand, rotate them uh, if, if it helps you remember what's, what's going on, but make sure that you're not using the same thing over and over and over again. Something that could be really helpful for that is to use a password manager. There are services out there like LastPass, Keeper, uh, uh, there, there are others, Dashlane, uh, all of them are good examples of ways that you can keep track of your passwords. You can share them with people that you want to have access, but at the same time, it keeps everything safe. It keeps everything locked down uh, so that you don't have the, the risk of, of opening your whole system up or open to attack. When you're coming up with a password, it's important to make sure you come up with a long password. Traditional wisdom when it comes to passwords is that you want to use capitalization, you want to use numbers, you want to use special characters like ampersands and exclamation points. All of those things are still useful. However, uh, attackers have come up with automated systems that are so good at cracking randomized passcodes that it's actually useful to have passwords with really long amounts of characters as opposed to a short password that's really randomized. So instead of using a, a six character, utterly randomized password, it's actually safer to use a, you know, 15, 16, 20 character password uh, that's actually really long. So for example, a really good, an example of a really good password would be, my hometown is Naples, Florida. And then, you know, you can, you can get in there and you can actually change some of the letters, swap the I's for ones or the E's for threes, throw in some special characters in there that you're gonna remember. But the point is to make it really long, make it very memorable to you, because the longer the password is, the less likely they'll be able to use automated techniques to crack it, which actually makes your website more secure because you've got a password that's easier for you to remember and harder for other people to take advantage of. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to this channel and our blog for more useful tips. And if you're interested in making your small business website the best it can possibly be, come visit us at superwebpros.com.